or in the last chapter of Mark. Notice this. It says here in verse 42 of chapter 15, And now when this even was come, because it was the preparation, that is the day before the Sabbath, then we'll go down to verse 1 of 16 and start reading. And when the Sabbath was passed, Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James and Salome, had brought sweet spices that they might come and anoint him. And very early in the morning, the first day of the week, they came unto the sepulchre at the rising of the sun. Rising of the S-U-N. And they said among themselves, Who shall roll us away the stone from the door of the sepulchre? And when they looked, they saw that the stone was rolled away, for it was very great. And entering into the sepulcher, they saw a young man sitting on the right side, clothed in a long white garment, and they were affrighted. And he saith unto them, Be not affrighted, ye seek Jesus of Nazareth, which was crucified. He is risen, he is not here. Behold the place where they laid him. But go your way, tell his disciples and Peter that he goeth before you into Galilee, there shall ye see him, as he said unto you. And they went out quickly, and fled from the sepulchre, for they trembled and were amazed, neither said they anything to the man, or any man, for they were afraid. Now when Jesus was risen early the first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, out of whom he had cast seven devils. And she went and told them that they or that had been with him, as they mourned and wept. And they, when they had heard that he was alive, and that uh, had been seen of her, believed not. After that he appeared in another form unto two of them, as they walked, and went into the country. Just read that in church today, I wrote to Emmaus, it's in Luke. And they went and told it unto the residue. Neither believed they them. Afterward he appeared unto the eleven as they sat at meat, and upbraided them um, with their unbelief and hardness of their heart, because they believed not them which had seen him after he was risen. That was Thomas. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world, and preach the gospel to every creature. Now a lot of foolish folks, I will throw this out, the ones that believe in the false gospels of the versions, believe that these next verses didn't exist. They were added, but that's nonsense. They took them away. That's the real truth. And he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. And these signs shall follow them that believe in my name. Uh, in my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. And that's true. They, they did cast out devils in Acts, and they spake with new tongues in Acts. They shall take up serpents. Paul did that without meaning to. One got stuck on his hand and he shook him off in Acts. And if they drink any uh, doo -doo -doo, deadly thing, it shall not be um, or it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. That also happened in Acts. I don't know about the drinking thing, or that might be there, but I never noticed. Um, but I'm sure it's happened. So then after the Lord had spoken unto them, he was received up into heaven and sat on the right hand of God. And they went forth and preached everywhere, the Lord working with them and confirming the word with signs following. Amen. Hey, I got an idea. I was thinking about once we get...
a hundred subscribers in Family Bible Time, we take a big wheel of everybody's thumbnail of their picture, and we twirl the wheel of thumbnails. What do you think? And we and then we give a Bible to whoever wins. Oh, I don't get it. Okay. All right. Oh wait, I get it. I want to do the golden. I want to do the golden. And get one.